Tactic Dave here with Road Trip Edge. And we got lost last time. Yeah. So, so we figured we needed some guidance. So Dave, where are we today? Um believe we're at Frankfort, Kentucky. Frankfort, Kentucky, okay. I think someone's buried here. I don't know who. Not sure. Um Could it have something to do with your hat? Yeah, I just don't want you to get us lost again, so we're gonna get some instructions. Yeah. Don't fall down the steps here. <laughs> So we're right across from the uh, state capitol here at Frankfurt uh, Cemetery. Yep. And we're going to walk down and uh, check out a grave here. So we're going to learn from a real frontiersman this time. Uh, since you really failed us last week. Uh, actually, I don't even know if you could find our car by our car, I mean my car. Yellow brick, <laughs> I'll just yellow brick road. Yeah, well, Dorothy, we're not in Kansas. We're in Kentucky. You got your wrong K state <laughs> there. Yeah, here's his monument. And I think what we'll do is we'll go up here and read this sign and then just read it back, and everybody will think we know a lot about Daniel Boone afterwards. That right? sounds, like a, sounds like a plan. All right. Make people think we've done our history, our yeah. research. Someone better learn something from these videos. Might as well be you. So our road trip, this is Daniel Boone's final resting place. Nice little statue. And what I really like about this place is that beautiful view he got over the, uh, I believe this is Kentucky River. This is? I believe that's the Kentucky River down there. And if I'm wrong, uh, no one's going to fact check me anyway. So. And, uh, <laughs> you'll be surprised. Beautiful view over the state capitol there, and, uh, and I'll tell you uh, one thing I know a lot about is uh, Daniel Boone. If I, if I remember correctly, he was born in uh, 1734 and died in 1820. Uh, and he entered Eastern Kentucky through the uh, what became the Cumberland Gap in 1767, explored the bluegrass region. Uh, Oh, don't hold me to it, but I want to say from uh, 1769 to 1771 through a company called the Transylvania Company, which even in Kentucky now there's a Transylvania University, so if you ever want to go vampire hunting, that's where they do it around here. But built Fort Boonesboro in 1775, which is right around the uh, Revolutionary War, and he directed the defense of the fort in 1778. So when you think of Daniel Boone, you think of Kentucky, but he actually immigrated to Missouri in 1799. 17, yeah, I'm sure I'm right on that. 1799. And you can fact yep. check me on that. All right, let's check the sign out here. There's what sign? The sign right here. Show the people the sign. Oh yeah, looks like I was. Looks like I was right. <laughs> yep, yep. His wife Rebecca. I was just gonna say that. That's kind of funny to. They be past your eye test. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and this will about conclude our little tour of Daniel Boone and to this great explorer. I tip my coonskin cap. That wasn't my hair, everybody. That was a hat. <laughs> I know the barber shops were closed for a while, but not quite that long. Um, but what I got to say now is who knows where this toll road will lead to next.